Hi guys. It is another hot, sticky, yucky, muggy, buggy, depressing day here in the end times. We have made it to Friday, August 27th, 2020. So this is your all depressed doomsday organic farmer slash narcissist moron hater coming up with today's rant while I uh, sit here I'm gonna make some collard we're gonna chop up some collard greens this is about this is about one tenth of the collard grains I have out in my uh, I have out in my garden right now you can imagine judging by my corn sales what my collard green sales have been in have amounted to this year uh, so I am sitting here just uh, you know just feeling like Don Quixote once again does uh, art imitate life or does life imitate art uh, just on my chaotic quest trying to figure out what in the fuck was I thinking when I planted this giant garden uh, a few months ago what in the fuck what, what, what was I thinking when I was out there planting what is it 18 collard green plants every one of these motherfuckers is like this is like two collard green plants and uh, all the rest of them like how many ears of this corn are going to go straight into the fucking compost pile because nobody wants to eat this shit nobody wants to fucking eat this uh, homegrown organic uh, garden fresh produce I could not give this shit away I could not give, uh, the, I think collard greens are a superfood, uh, as I recall, aren't they a superfood? Uh, I could not give away, I probably could not pay people to fucking come down here and, 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 and take these fucking collard greens uh, out of my garden. Uh, what else is this over there? You, you know, like I've got 50 or 60 uh, of these beautiful uh, organic homegrown garden fresh peppers. You know, I've got green peppers over there and poblanos or whatever. I'm never going to eat the fucking things. Come get them. But I know fuck well that, that nobody listening to this, including those of you within 30 minutes, an hour at the most of me, are, are, are going to come down here and, uh, and, and, and take advantage of this gift from the universe. Come down here and fucking get the shit. Load up. You know, I'm, I mean, this is just this experience uh, of what I have gone through uh, with this fucking corn harvest. Uh... Good God, here's another fucking hundred ears uh, uh, of corn that I picked today. I'll have another fucking hundred ears of corn uh, to pick tomorrow. Uh, you know, I, I have an ad out. I put an ad out on Craigslist at, uh, at 6 o'clock last night advertising you know, this homegrown, organic, non-GMO, garden fresh. Uh, I'm asking 25 cents an ear. 25 cents an ear. Have it uh, out there on Craigslist, you know, in Ithaca, New York. Well, you know, Ithaca, New York, probably ground zero for these little uh, privileged fucking little white and Asian. It's actually... I don't know, there might be more Asians around here, uh, but you know, these privileged little educated uh, whatevers living in fucking Ithaca, New York, uh, the ground zero of, their, of this fucking little organic, all cotton, incense burning, uh, little fucking uh, click uh, of, these, of these privileged little limp dick lefty 
uh, you know, uh, acting like the, that uh, th this is the kind of diet they want. And they, do you think one fucking person from Ithaca, New York, is going to drive 20 fucking minutes to load up uh, on, on all of this produce? I mean, these are free. Collard greens are free. A fucking uh, Kentucky Wonder pole beans uh, are totally free. Um... Uh, you know, so I don't have any idea how to, I, I'm, I'm, what I'm doing with this. I, I have no idea since, since I have no idea how to can shit. And, and my guess is, I, I'm guessing 300 people are going to listen to this rant. My guess, out of the 300 people, well, Sandy, I know you're in there. I know Rick, you're in there. My guess is if 300 people listen to this, listen to this rant, that if 10 of you have ever fucking canned anything in your entire fucking life, I'd be shocked. I, I admit it, the last time I fucking canned something, uh, I was 18 years old trying to uh, get some pussy from this hippie chick. And uh, so to get the pussy... I, I had to, what did we make? It was fun, we made this wild plum jelly. Uh, you should have seen the fucking kitchen by the time we finished this wild plum jelly. That was in 1978. 1978 was the last time uh, th that I ever fucking uh, canned or preserved anything. Now, uh, so what I am doing with the corn is, so what I'm doing with the corn is I'm trying to freeze, you know, cutting it off the cob and freezing, and I'm going to do about 200 ears, uh, you know, in these, uh, cutting it off the cob and freezing them in this half-gallon freezer uh, thing. Uh, so that's my extent. What I'm going to do with the other thousand fucking ears of corn, I don't know. You know, as it, you know, Sancho, I, I guess he heard the damn deer or whatever it is raiding my cornfield at two o'clock in the fucking morning last night, and was sitting there trying to chase the deer away. And I said, Sancho, just let the fucking deer eat. You know that, that somebody, somebody is fucking glad. To, uh, to take my gift from the fucking universe. Let the fucking deer enjoy the corn. Because there's not a fucking human on the fucking planet uh, that, that, that's going to sit here and enjoy this corn. Well, I mean, uh, yes, yeah, sure. If I fucking grow it, if I fucking harvest it, if I fucking prepare it, if I fucking cook it, and I fucking sit it down in front of them at the fucking table, uh, they're going to enjoy it. Yeah, I, I mean, the reason uh, that people uh, aren't, aren't accepting this gift from the fucking universe is too much fucking work. You know, all of, the, all of this goddamn talk that you hear down in the fucking doomosphere, all us fucking privileged white folks sitting here like, yeah, when the trucks stop running, when the trucks stop running, it's, it's the 72 hours and, and the supermarkets are going to run out of food and Mad Max is going to erupt. Uh, uh, all of us, and, and, and I'm one of them, uh, no, no, don't think I'm acting like I'm not fucking uh, one of the, these goddamn non-clueless, clueless fucking morons. I understand as well as, as anybody else uh, with a fucking brain out there. Uh, that, if, that, that if the goddamn uh, trucks stop running for three days, that the goddamn supermarkets are going to be, are, you know, are going to be, uh, the shelves are going to be empty. I understand this totally, but do you think that I'm going out there and, and, and fucking uh, canning all this stuff in my garden? Good God what I can make uh, out of this garden. One, 
one fucking 60 year old man, privileged white man, I, I've grown enough fucking food that, that I could live off of the, the you know, this uh, organic uh, produce. Good God. Uh, I, you know, I, I could fill the fucking Hambone Hilton garage with this shit. There's one reason uh, that I'm not doing it. Well, one reason is I don't know how to, but uh, of course, I'm sure I could learn how to can. I don't fucking want to. It's the same fucking reason that, that you're not out there. Uh, can and that you're sitting here listening the, to me fucking ranting on YouTube when you should be out fucking canning, uh, you, you know, these goddamn organic vegetables. But you don't fucking want to. You want to sit around watching your fucking YouTube videos and your fucking Netflix. You know, acting like, yeah, yeah, Mad Max is on his fucking way. And fucking, uh, who was it? Uh, that goddamn insufferable fucking prick, uh, John Michael Greer, uh, you know, in that interview on Collapse Chronicles with that kid who flaked out on me. Uh, can't even remember that fucking kid's name. But anyway, uh, you know, John Michael Greer, yeah. You want to survive the end times, you need to learn how, how to how to hoe, how to fucking organic garden. I, I, bet, I, I bet I have made more fucking organic, uh, produced more organic food this summer than that fat ass uh, John Michael Greer uh, has made in his entire fucking life. I mean, look at the fucking belly on that fat ass. Do you think he's out there? fucking hoeing? Do you think John Michael Greer is out there fucking canning? Do you think James Howard Kunstler is in his fucking kitchen? Right now? I've seen James Howard Kunstler's garden. I got a personal tour by Jim Kunstler uh, of his fucking garden. It was embarrassing. He was actually, Kunstler, actually out there giving me a tour of his organic garden. Um, Jesus, uh, I'm, I'm sure James is really listening to this rant. Brother, uh, good luck to you, man. And when Mad Max gets here, uh, living off that fucking thing you call a garden, you, you know, all, all of this fucking bullshit. Uh, about global food insecurity and and, uh, and 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 how much everyone's so fucking concerned about the starving kids in fucking Madagascar that never should have fucking been born. Imagine if I uh, if I showed up with his 2,000 ears of uh, of corn in fucking Madagascar, I'd probably save the life of it, of at least 10 lemurs. They they would fucking appreciate it. You know, because cause none of these fucking little privileged uh, honkies up here in, in, in the fucking Finger Lakes, uh, whether they're fucking doomers or not, uh, they, they don't fucking appreciate it. They'd rather sit here and, and talk about what a fucking hater I am. Uh, how, how, much, how much of this shit do you think that fucking toxic bitch, Veronica Harris... Has ever made in her has ever grown in her entire fucking life. Do you think Veronica Harris is is, is sitting here and canning this stuff? If that fucking bitch lived ten minutes from here, she would not come down. Well, she, you know she might come down and grab what she could eat, uh, you know, fresh from the garden. Uh, but 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 even that. Uh, e e even finding any way, you know, anyone to, to just to come and get the garden fresh produce. But uh, nobody uh, is going to sit here uh, and, and go through this fucking bullshit uh, of this canning and everything because they don't want to. They don't believe for one fucking minute that the fucking trucks are going to stop rolling. They don't believe it any more than I fucking believe it. I don't believe for one fucking minute, and neither do you, motherfucker. You don't believe any more than I do that those fucking trucks 
uh, are, are, are going to stop rolling down the highway and filling up that fucking supermarket so you can take your privileged honky ass up and down the fucking aisles uh, of goddamn Wegman supermarket and, and go through there and fill up your little basket with your fucking organic uh, locally grown produce uh, at, at about 20 times the fucking price uh, I'm charging because you know and, and, and sit there and, and act like you know that you're saving the fucking planet. You're, you're fucking uh, supporting uh, local organic uh, agriculture and all of this fucking bullshit. It's fucking bu I mean, everywhere I turn, it's fucking bullshit. You know, goddamn uh, Cervantes uh, talking about this shit in the year 1500 about the clueless fucking morons. You know, I always hearken back to my number one favorite scene uh, out of Don Quixote. Uh, the, you know, the famous uh, acorn scene uh, with uh, Don Quixote, you know, talking about it's a fucking bountiful universe. He's trying to show these clueless fucking morons uh, that it is a bountiful universe but it's a fucking team partnership you gotta do some fucking work you, you, you gotta you gotta chop wood carry some fucking water and uh, you know in Sancho Panza and, 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 and the fucking uh, Goddards, you know, making the second trip to the wine skin, sitting there, you know, just listening to, to fucking uh, Don Quixote, the, the biggest fool uh, in, in literary history, uh, you know, talk on and on about this. This is a fucking bountiful universe. Get out there and enjoy it while you still can. I, 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 I guess it's just completely fucking lost on you. It sure is shit lost on uh, fucking the, uh, that toxic little bitch, uh, Veronica Harris, and, and, and the other. Who is that? Who is that little motherfucker? Rob, who is that little motherfucker who uh, I just who wanted to come up here and mooch off of us all summer? What was Reagan? Yeah, Reagan. Yeah, yeah, Reagan. What, what, Reagan? Yeah, typical fucking yuppie. You get that farm for free, and, and you don't want to share it with anybody. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Uh, fuck. I, Reagan, how much time, how, how many days did you fucking spend this summer? Uh, you, you little fat ass, privileged little fucking millennial, uh, growing fucking food. You, you were you were too busy driving back and forth to the fucking food bank, uh, looking for handouts to get out there and, and 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 fucking put a hoe in the ground. And you sure as shit, you little prick. Uh, don't have any more idea how to fucking can and preserve food uh, than, than, you know, than I ever will. Uh, I, I just get so sick and tired of this shit. Uh, on, on every fucking level. I, I, so anyway, uh, I, obviously, the entire subterfuge of what I try to do on this fucking channel, okay, uh, it is, is show in real life that there is an alternative to this fucking comfort trap, uh, to this dependence uh, on this fucking uh, fossil fuel powered fucking um, truck coming rolling down the fucking line. Uh, you know, I'm showing it. Uh, how it can be done, how you can get out there and and, uh, and and start living the fucking life that that all these goddamn doomers from James Howard Kunstler to fucking uh, 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 John Michael Greer, uh, you, you know, talking, uh, spouting their fucking bullshit uh, when, when they have no fucking intention uh, uh, of practicing what they preach. So I sit here and, and, and I practice what, my, what I preach. I, I try to fucking show you guys how to do it, how, how to fucking do it.
and uh, and and I and I can't get anyone uh, to, to fucking drive from. I can't get my own subscribers, uh, you, you know, in fucking Ithaca, in New York, to drive down here and 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 get some of this corn because they they can go to fucking Wegmans and and get their fucking corn at Wegmans, which is where I should have gotten my fucking corn. Saved a fucking heap of trouble. Uh, you know, and then and, and this, uh, I, I mean, the fucking dots that, that could be connected uh, through all this, you, you know, and, and, and so like, like, like Dulcinea, I, 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 of course I have to, I can't get to a rant without talking about Dulcinea, because if you guys haven't noticed this entire channel, it is uh, it is for one person. That's for Dulcinea, and, and so uh, you know, I met up with Dulcinea. Uh, uh, when was it? Two or three weeks ago. We finally had our famous uh, meet up with me trying to convince her, uh, you know, to come up here to Bugs in a Jar Farm, and uh, and just telling her. Uh, you know, that I am the man that she needs to be with. Uh, in, in, if she truly believes, as she claims, that, that, that she's a fucking doomer chick and she understands that all of this shit is coming down, uh, that she needs to be with a fucking man who can feed her. But uh, obviously, uh, she doesn't give a fuck that she can be with a man uh, that could feed her because it probably means that this same man would expect her mm -hmm. to put a fucking mm -hmm. hoe in her hand or maybe I would be expecting Dulcinea, uh, you know, I, I don't know, to uh, to learn how to fucking can. But but she has no fucking interest in, in, in learning how to either garden or canning because those fucking trucks are, are, are rolling down the fucking road. And, and anytime Dulcinea wants to, she gets in her fucking car and, and she drives to fucking Wegmans. Uh, you know, I see all this. Oh, it's unbelievable over there on, on, on fucking pile of fish. Uh, all, all these fucking lying bitches t talking about how they love to garden and, and all of this. And, and then I'll see their fucking gardens. And, uh, it, you know, it's a, it, it's a couple of fucking tomato plants uh, on their goddamn deck. Uh, you know... Yeah, trying, trying to impress a woman uh, uh, that you know how to fucking feed them. And all of this talk about uh, yeah, food insecurity. Yeah, and, and, and as soon as the goddamn corona panic shows up, what does everyone do? Uh, do, they, do you think they, they, they fucking run to the store and let know they, they're, they're a hell of a lot more worried uh, about how they're going to wipe their fucking ass? Than, than, than how they're uh, g gonna fucking eat. Fucking toilet paper trumps food any time. The, the slightest little hint uh, a fucking Mad Max. First place uh, people are thinking of is how they're gonna wipe their fucking ass. If you don't shit, you have nothing to wipe. If you don't fucking eat, you don't fucking shit. You know, they have no fucking interest uh, because uh, you, you, they, they don't think about uh, the corona panic or, or, or the real fucking, you know, when the real uh, fucking uh, bad hair day gets here. Yeah, uh, I hope you can eat your fucking toilet paper, you clueless fucking morons, you know. There, there, there's a fucking reason uh, that 90% of this fucking uh, population of this clueless fucking moron planet is going to be fucking dead w w within six weeks when those fucking trucks stop uh, running. And, and it's because they don't know how to grow fucking food uh, and, and, they, and they don't know how to preserve it. And, and, and the reason they don't know how is because they don't have any interest in fucking learning. 
you know, it, it, it's the biggest bunch of fucking bullshit. This whole fucking doomosphere makes me want to fucking puke. Where, where every bit as clueless as any other bunch of fucking clueless fucking morons on this planet with, with our fucking superior we are so fucked attitudes. Why the fuck do you think we're so fucked? You know, and, and, and again, uh, don't think I'm not talking to my fucking self. I'm gonna be right there with you uh, when those when those fucking trucks uh, when, when those fucking trucks stop running. Th th this many collard greens right here is literally. I mean, each half gallon bag. Do you, do you know what this fucking half gallon bag uh, of collard greens disappears into? This disappears into about a four ounce bowl. Uh, I, I mean, if, if I was just trying to keep myself alive, I could probably actually keep myself alive for about a day on, uh, on, uh, this, on, on these collard grains. Now, if I put up 200 ears of corn, I actually could probably live for... Let's see, well, three years of corn a day is a hundred a month, so I might be able to make it for two months, uh, but of course I'm not canning this corn, I'm freezing it. And uh, if the fucking, uh, y y you know, if the, if the fucking freezer, uh, if, the, if the electricity runs out, that's the end of the fucking freezer. So assuming uh, that fucking Mad Max gets here and, and the fucking electricity stays on and that I'm still plugged into the grid, uh, I, I might be able to live for two months uh, on this corn. There, there is one reason that, that I am, uh, that I'm making this corn is because it tastes goddamn good. Uh, that is the one and the only reason I'm not under any fucking delusion. Uh, the reason that I am, uh, th that I am, uh, you know, going through all of this fucking work, uh, to, to, uh, make this corn and, and to freeze it, uh, it, it is thinking that, that I'm going to save myself from Mad Max. It's because I like to fucking taste the cream corn. If it didn't fucking taste good, uh, you know, that's why, uh, you, you know, I, I'm, I'm making 40 bags of cream corn and, and about four of these bags. Uh, I mean, I don't even like fucking collard. Well, I, I mean, collard greens, uh, you know, with, with the, the most important thing in the, in the recipe for collard greens is the fucking bacon. Which of course comes from uh, comes from the store. So when I'm ready to cook these things, you know, if I didn't have the fucking factory farmed bacon uh, at the fucking store, I'd rather starve to death uh, than eat these fucking greens uh, if they're not drowning in fucking bacon grease. Jesus, we're so we're we're so fucked. We we deserve every fucking thing uh, coming to us. Every fucking thing. Nobody gives a fuck uh, I, 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 about the other message here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Uh, what what you see is a fucking. Uh, is a fucking greedy, narcissistic, uh, not sharing with anyone, uh, a, a fucking hater. You know, fucking humans. Well, at least the goddamn deer or the bears or whatever the fuck it is uh, getting in my cornfield. I, I really hope they go in there tonight and just knock the whole fucking rest of the cornfield. I've already got like 400 fucking ears. Uh, I, I've got another 500 fucking ears of corn coming in over the next week. At least 500 fucking ears of corn. At least we'll have some fucking corn-fed corn venison around here. 
Anyway, guys, you know, your fucking talk about fucking Mad Max and your fucking trucks stopping and then running to wipe your fucking ass soon as a fucking bad hair day comes up. I'm so fucking pissed. You know, this whole fucking experience, this whole fucking experience, uh, you know, has just taught me that Miguel Cervantes was fucking right 1,500 fucking years ago. Uh, M Miguel Cervantes uh, talking about uh, how this, you know, how this fucking uh, human race in this planet or we're taking a fucking wrong fucking turn. And here we are, 1,500 fucking years later, and uh, everything uh, that Cervantes said about the world's biggest fool. You know, in 1500, uh, anybody trying to bring this message uh, that, that Cervantes was trying to share 1500 years ago uh, it, it is, uh, is going to be treated just like, uh, just like fucking uh, Don Quixote was. That uh, he is going, that you're gonna be fucking perceived as as a fucking you know alarmist uh, lunatic, the you know uh, the biggest fucking fool, and uh, I'm goddamn proud. How many times have I said that my uh, major Arcana uh, tarot card? I am the fool. Uh, you better fucking believe. Uh, that that I have that I have proven this fucking summer uh, what a fucking fool I am thinking for one fucking and what what the fuck was I thinking as I started this rana what the fuck was I thinking well it was, it was uh, that was you know so Rob was asking me this morning what the fuck were you thinking Amon were you thinking you were gonna sell this shit were you thinking you were gonna give it away. Uh, Anyway, get out there and enjoy uh, canning your fucking uh, turnip greens for the end times. Come get all the free fucking veggies you want at Bugs in a Jar Farm. They're now free. Free. But there's not a fucking truck gonna bring them to you. Okay? I, I fucking grew them for you. I fucking harvested them for you. You little baby. You're just gonna have to get in your fucking gas sucking truck and drive down and come pick them up, I guess. Anyway, I love you guys. We're all a bunch of clueless fucking morons. We fucking deserve every motherfucking thing uh, we have coming to us. Every motherfucking one of us. Totally fucking disgusted with this whole fucking doomosphere. Every, every hypocritical, lying, little sack of shit pussy in it. We all need to be dead by morning. Fuck us. Bye, guys.